Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Masharia, a trainer at Kenya Coast National Polytechnic in the Department of Hospitality and Tourism. Uh, my speciality is hospitality and tourism, uh, specifically food and beverage and marketing. Now today I want us to focus a little bit on marketing and see how marketing can improve our performance in our responsibility. Uh, in introduction to, to marketing, I would like us to look at the objectives that I would like the students to attain by the end of the lesson. Uh, one is that I would like them to be able to explain meaning of various terms that are applicable to marketing. Then I would also like them to be able to explain the marketing concept and, and with that also to be able to discuss the nature of the marketing services. Uh, jump on to it let's look at the meaning of marketing uh, one we can say that uh, uh, one one thing we know is that uh, there are many definitions of marketing uh, the better definitions are focused upon customers orientation and satisfaction of customers needs because basically we have to be able to understand how the customers relate to what it is that we are offering so our um, our first focus will be on the social process whereby we are saying marketing is the social process by which individuals and groups obtain what they need and want through creating and exchanging products and values with others uh, with that we bring the aspect of the social process and we can also look at it from the managerial perspective whereby we say marketing is the management process that identifies anticipates and satisfies customers requirements profitably kindly underline the term profitably because with every activity that a business runs it has to be profitable and then we can also have a general understanding of the marketing where you can say marketing is the process of understanding and influencing markets uh, from time to time we've had the term sales and marketing and now we want to delink sales from marketing by understanding the meaning of the term sales uh, we can say sales is a branch of marketing that deals with the exchange of goods and or services for an amount of money or its equivalent that is to say uh, sales is is gotten from the term from the broader perspective of marketing so uh, with that we need also to get to understand the concept of marketing so let's look at the marketing concept uh, we can see that uh, marketing concept is a philosophy and being a philosophy it makes the customer and the satisfaction of his or her needs the focal point of all business activities. Uh, it is driven by senior managers within the organization with passionate, who are passionate uh, about delighting their customers. Uh, and this will include choosing and targeting appropriate customers, uh, positioning your offering, uh, interacting with those customers, controlling and making uh, marketing controlling the marketing efforts and continuity of performance. If we look at this, we also have what we call the core concepts of marketing. That is the core marketing concepts. Uh, when you look at the core marketing concept, uh, they help to understand the basic principles of marketing. And these core concepts include, the first one is mm, we have needs, wants and demands uh, if you look at these these are the basic uh, human requirements then from there we look at the products and services and also we have the aspect of um, customer value satisfaction and quality exchange transaction and relationship and finally the market uh, with this we can be able to we, with this we can be able to understand what the concepts of marketing is all about. So let's look at the nature of marketing. Uh, marketing is misunderstood by many. Uh, it, is, it is not simply advertising. Uh, as we know, advertising is, the, is only a small element in marketing. 
a firm marketing po marketing policy is part of its strategic business plan and is essentially a process whereby the firm the firm's ability to supply services is brought into balance with the expected demands for its services from present and future clients we are focusing both the the present and the future clients as well uh, this mechanism ensures that uh, the firm maintains growth and profitability remember the aspect of every business is to make a profit so when you bring the aspect of growth and profitability it makes you get into a clear picture of the marketing uh, in an era where there where in most sectors of work cutthroat competition prevails no firm can afford to be without knowledge however basic however basic of marketing so if we look at this we are we get to understand that it is important for us to have even if it's the basic information even if it's the basic knowledge about marketing and uh, marketing it's important for us to know that uh now from that uh, we need to also differentiate marketing of products and marketing of services uh mostly people will get a clear notion of what it is to market products but let's look at the marketing of services because this is an area that has been or has been neglected for a while so marketing services is accepted as more difficult than marketing products uh services have several quantitative differences and are one uh, we can say that services are heterogeneous in other words they cannot be standardized uh, you cannot be able to standardize a particular service as compared to a particular product inseparable and like producing for instance baked beans in production then also marketing and delivering of services is very often the same process and uh, we can say marketing of services can also be said to be perishable and cannot be restored. This means that supplies and demand must match or production will be lost. Then we can also say services are intangible. Uh, they cannot be seen, but very seldom can they be objectively measured. You cannot be able to measure services uh from there i believe i have given a, a short introduction on marketing and i do hope that this video will enable you to get into perspective of what is expected as a marketer within the hospitality and tourism department and more so looking at other areas like food and beverage and specific specifically in food and beverage service management thank you very much and may the good lord bless you